students have taken the statue from UVA students, uh, mostly young women of color. You know, we told people in the church that we have to go up there, like they can't be there by themselves because <clears throat> it's dangerous. And the church actually locked their doors. Did not come. They refused help. So when you seen like the, I know the pictures that I seen, it was a, it was a shocking sight seeing hundreds of people with with fire sticks or I don't even know what to call them, torches like circ in a circle and they had like the groups around it yeah. was you did you think that they was it had reverted back to like some 1800 like yep that's exactly what it felt like because I mean, to me it looked like there. a scene out of Django or something I mean I was standing there with two of our friends who are both like people of color and it was just the fear in their eyes. Like, if I was scared. I mean, we were terrified. Like, it was, you know, you've got 30 people and 300 Nazis with fire. Like, and they were beating people with their with their torches. Like, they were trying to burn people in the face while, like, like while like screaming racial slurs. Like, it absolutely felt like some like some like long lost piece of history that was being recreated. So, oh boy, monkey, threatening. Them. Using the N-word a whole bunch, like... Pulled guns. They pulled guns out on us. They pulled guns on you. But the, yeah. where are the police? Watching. They didn't do anything. They were 10 feet away watching. So the police let this go on? Yeah. So they let them pull guns out on you? Yeah. We had to get out ourselves. They they pepper sprayed a bunch of our people and we had to get them out through the crowd, through the police, line, to our own medics. We had people who couldn't see. Like, they couldn't see to walk because they'd been maced in the face. Wow. And we have people of color with us. We have people, like, you know, it's like, that's part of the job of doing anti-fascist work is to put your body in between black and brown bodies and white supremacists. And so it's like it was really, it, it was terrifying, but at the same time, like, we could not just leave those people up there. Never seen anything like that. Never seen anything. Someone who's with us has been doing this like 20 years. Like I've never seen anything like that in my life. Wow. <coughs> I'm just shocked that like the police let this go on because if you remember the the images from Ferguson, <coughs> from even the Baltimore at the Freddie Gay stuff when they was marching through the streets, they came with tear gas, they came with tanks, they came with rubber bullets sound bombs you know because <laughs> that's black folks and that's how they respond to and the police are are there are fascists i mean you know like there's a there's a reason that we you know do that chant like you know is it well, kkk the cops go hand in hand like they're the same they're on their team for the cops and the clan go hand in hand like I mean, they're not stopping it because most of them don't believe that it's wrong. Uh, I'm starting to see. And the ones that do just are falling in line. Like, the ones that do think it's wrong are just falling in line. They're just following orders. They were ordered in Charlottesville to stand down. Yeah. While people were engaging in incredible violence. Like, the cops were ordered to stand down. And I mean, the cops aren't our friends. Like, the cops aren't fascist friends really like they're not anybody's friends but like they didn't do anything there were no barricades in the street I've never been to a demonstration like that where like there were not barricades in the street no streets were blocked off how did that car get through because partially because they didn't have any streets blocked off well okay since you brought up the car so so yeah, okay you had the Friday event so I guess the big event, like the main rally was on Saturday, right? So after seeing the events of Friday, what was it what was what was going through y'all mind that that night in the build up until the Saturday event? Because get him. <laughs> <laughs> you wasn't I mean, I went with you two wasn't guns scared strapped on my hips. Like you wasn't scared? Yeah, I was scared. It's always scared, scared, but I was angry. We were angry. Angry. Um, I mean, it's a big difference, though, when there's 30 people surrounded by 300 Nazis and when there's hundreds of us fighting back hundreds of them, like... Right, when the numbers are equal, yeah. or more equal, equalized. Yeah, 
And that's kind of how a lot of those groups operate. They're like pack hunters. They prey on easy targets. They prey on people they think are vulnerable. Because <clears throat> they don't want to deal with the consequences of their hate speech and their actions. 